Thanks so much, Gary. Well, everyone seems to be trying to eat a little healthier this year, especially with swimsuit season just about here. And salads can be a great healthy option, but the same old leafy greens can get boring pretty quickly. We're joined this morning with Chef Paul and Chef Lucine to help us take our lettuce from drab to fab with just a few simple steps. Good morning, chefs. Good morning, Good morning Melanie. Good morning, once again. Well, Chef Paul, let's start with you. Food always seems to be evolving. What are the hottest trends in the color, culinary world right now? You know, for me, I think uh, it's really about health, flavor, and seasonality. I think uh, ingredients like kale, uh, that's seasoned with my favorite ingredients, lemon juice and olive oil, garlic, mm. parmesan, really takes something that's incredibly healthy and makes it incredibly flavorful. Um, seasonality is always important. It's asparagus season right now. Raw shaved asparagus on a salad, again, with my favorite ingredients, lemon juice and olive oil, um, over the top, really takes something that's really drab and makes it incredibly fab. I never would have thought about asparagus on a salad. I love that. What are some other ways we can spice up salads and incorporate some of those trends? Well, you know, uh, my wife and I always keep uh, great fresh vegetables in our refrigerator. Uh, we grow them in our garden. We pull them out. They're super, they're super fresh. Um, a raw beet is a great one. Raw fennel, uh, carrots, tomatoes, any of those things can be simply shaved with a sharp peeler over salad, tossed with the vinaigrette, and they provide an incredible crunch and tons of flavor, and they're super healthy. Mm, I love that. Well, Chef Lucine, sometimes it's hard to find time to prepare a great salad and then make sure that we have all these ingredients at home, especially keeping those fresh ones. How can we do it? Well, you know, a, a strong stock pantry um, is really the best. Again, I go back to my lovely wife. We always have three <laughs> vinaigrettes in our refrigerator, a creamy one made with uh, buttermilk, a little bit of mayonnaise, some fresh herbs and garlic. We have a balsamic vinegar, uh, and then we have a simple lemon vinaigrette in the fridge. So uh, we keep a container. Uh, with beautiful lettuce in it or arugula or escarole, something that's a little more bitter. Um, we shave some vegetables over it and we choose a vinaigrette of the day and generally top it with something that's really crunchy and delicious like toasted cashews or uh, mm. pecans or something. They'll add a lot of contrast and a lot of flavor. And you can even finish it with a little shaved Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, an incredible, uh, wonderful nutty cheese. I love the vinaigrette of the day, I've got, I've got to say. But everybody seems to be so vinaigrette busy the these day, days. Yeah. Any tips to make sure that we can get this all done pretty quickly? Well, like I said, a little bit of advanced planning is amazing. Um, you know, the vinaigrettes in the fridge, uh, they, they all keep almost indefinitely. Um, you know, a uh, container of washed lettuce. Just have all the things at hand, go in the pantry, pull a couple things out. Honestly, uh, my wife and I pull it together in about five minutes. And if you wow. want more recipes and more information, just go to linkcuisine.com. You'll find a lot more information. And always keeping us healthy with Link Cuisine. Well, chefs, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Some great tips. I think I might incorporate that vinaigrette of the day. I love that. We appreciate you chatting with us this morning. Bon appétit. Yeah, of course. We'll be back with bon more. Thanks, Melanie. Bye-bye.